Hello and welcome. Uh, today I want to show you how to get data for importing with the landscaping plugin. Uh, welcome to every new user. I think there are a lot of you since it's uh, free for the month in July 2023. So um, here a possible source for getting the data is uh, Earth Explorer usgs.gov and uh, you have to make a free account it's uh, i'm already logged in but you can really register here for free and um, then you uh, will see the map you can scroll in and out so we're, we're just a normal web map and we can uh, look at some part we want to import and get the geo data from there are several options here on the left side. You, you can click use map, then it will um, mark the area where you just scrolled in and then move the markers so we get the area we want to show us the data for download. This is uh, about the area we want. Then here are some uh, options and cloud cover is very interesting. We want for the satellite images to be um, not so clouded data. So we have actually a look at the ground and the date range. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, it will just limit the uh, data sets. And here we can um, choose from the data set we are interested in digital elevation and then srtm and we use srtm white field and for the satellite images we use landsat and then we use this collection and this um, data sets so additional criteria we want to make sure one additional criteria sometimes it's not loading so fast so we have to go back and forth until it loads the data okay here we go and one important additional criteria is that we want to set the all day not night indicator to day because night uh, there is pretty dark in the mountains up there I cannot see shit okay um here we uh, can see um can we preview what uh, will be downloaded and how to decide what to download we can uh, preview it here this is a good data set it's from this year first of july well this one covers all the area and so we will download this for sure download options and then we use uh, natural color qtif and download it if you don't see the download make sure that you don't block the pop-ups sometimes this is a um, common problem with these downloads then go to SG, SRTM Whitefield and we can also preview here what are the height data this one is good, I think um, we'll not take this one. This one is enough for demonstration. And download the GeoTIFF. Well, then we open um, our Unreal Editor, make a new level, we don't want to save this, and then uh, one important thing when working with data from USGS is go back, uh, go down here to landscaping and the projection modes should be set to automatically reproject to appropriate UTM CRS, 
once you have that you can open here and uh, select um, the height map first then we go to options and yes this is a big area 9000 square kilometer we will not import everything we can limit the area here to some interesting spot It's about this, this part here. 27 times 27 uh, kilometers. We will increase here to 30,000 meter. The desired max tile size, so it makes sure it will only build one landscape. And after we have set here these options, we import, and it's pretty fast. We have already. Also cropped the um, extents. And we can see the area here. All right. Next thing we do is we import the satellite image. Um, here there are several options. We want to have it as a decal. Just select it here. It will take a moment. It will automatically be cropped to the area. And here we go. That's about it. Not that complicated, I would say. Another source for height data is viewfinders panoramas. And um, the link is in the documentation. You have a map and there are already tiles you can download. You only have to click on it and it will download the zip file. And you can extract the zip file and uh, import it. Also make sure you have the um, project settings here set to automatically reprotect your appropriate UTM CRS. It will be fine for um, just the basic needs. If you have a uh, like advanced use case um, or map box import, you can uh, set it to this. If you have like uh, a very special need or you have to reprojected it to um, a projection you uh, uh, want to have, then you have to use this. Use custom CRS specified below and it will uh, convert it to this CRS. For um, normal use case or if you're a beginner with uh, working with geodata choose this automatically reproject to appropriate UTM CRS. So uh, one more thing is um, if you uh, want to go further and uh, build roads, rail tracks, rivers from um, uh, vector data you can achieve this uh, going to um, download Geofabric, they, they have uh, open street map data uh, and you can choose uh, here limit the area where you want to have uh, the data United States of America then you go well I'm not a Native American <laughs> so I have to look up which it was Utah okay Utah and um, then there is uh, Utah latest free shape zip and you can download the shape files from here after we downloaded the shape files to back the data we can use it here with the plugin select them we have different files um, the one with the small a indicating uh, polygons and uh, the others are line strings or points so for our purpose we will import roads these are um, vector data roads from all of Utah but they will be cropped automatically to um, to the shape uh, and extents of the 
chunk we imported here, the terrain. And here with the OSM feature class, you just saw it, uh, we can select which type of road we want to generate. There will be generated uh, spline meshes, or there are other options as well. But uh, for now, we will uh, import just um, tertiary road here. You can see um, where it will go along. With this one, there are other options like uh, offset from ground in centimeters, how much uh, distance will there be between um, the road and the ground. We will set it maybe to 10 so that the road mesh doesn't sink into the ground. And here with the spline mesh options, we can um, set uh, mesh <coughs> here is um, some confusion um, this indicates actually the zoom level for mapbox data when you hover over the value values uh, you uh, will see what everything does this is uh, mixed up here a little bit there was a new property introduced recently and uh, there is not the exact header here but if you hover over it you will see what everything does here. We select the mesh and um, there are additional options for painting the layer uh, underneath the mesh. We'll skip that for now, but uh, I will show you what you can do afterwards um, in a second. And so when we hit import, this uh, will generate it here. It will just take a couple of seconds generate and now we can have a closer look to this and there you can see uh, two types of um, actors here generated for each segment of the mesh one is for uh, editing post editing there are some options which are pretty handy uh, and one is the actual uh, segment when we zoom in on it we can see it is generated here Since the decal is uh, projecting uh, on top of it, we have to see, uh, we have to uh, disable the decal. You can also disable uh, decal receiving in the material here. None. And uh, save it, of course. We can activate um, the decal again and the mesh will not receive the decal here. So um, next step we can do here on this segment is uh, actually to form the landscape. So thanks, uh, these are the basics for getting started quick. Uh, if you have further questions, please read the documentation. There are other tutorial videos you can check out and have fun. Goodbye.